okay, just, just look. I'm trying to open it. And I was like, oh look, it's so cute. It's got little, little perforations, whatever. They do absolutely nothing. It's definitely not coming off. It doesn't matter. Hey you guys, I'm Dini Dance, and in this episode I'm going to be doing the review of the Japanese Makeup Brush Cleanser. But without further ado, let's get started with the review. This is my first review that I tried uploading two days ago, and it didn't work out because my camera and the angles and just bad, bad things. They, it wasn't good. And like I said uh, in my first video introducing my new channel, um, I did want to make more quality videos, and because I'm not able to edit the way that I would love to edit, I would like to actually be able to do, like, I have now a little mini tripod instead of this giant thing sitting on my toilet and trying to film with that and having to look down on me. And, but anyway, I had to go get cords and things. Um, so, to, so, I'm actually going to show you guys how well this stuff works because surprisingly, it's pretty good, and I was very impressed. So, to show you how well it works, and this is my stippling brush, and it does have still some, ooh, that is bright, some foundation on it from my multiple uses. So, you're just supposed to take it and hold it away, and spritz, 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 and then you can just take your paper, towel, whatever, and rub, and get it all off, and it's really, really light because I'm pale-ish, but there is, ah, you can see it, there is some product uh, that you can see coming off on the, on the paper, and just a little more spritz, and it is getting it off um, rather nicely. The only thing I don't like about it is that if it does get, like, on the on the brush handle part it is kind of like oily and filmy and that's kind of the reason I don't like using I use my makeup eraser towel um, this thing rather than like an actual uh, makeup remover which I still have some of um, because I wear contacts and when I try to like wash my face get the makeup off while I'm still wearing my contacts. Um, the oil gets in my eyes and then it messes with my contacts and it also messes with my eyes and I really just can't stand it. It's awful and I hate not being able to see. I hate wearing my glasses um, and it's it's awful. I hate it. And uh, so I invested in that and it's wonderful because I don't have to use any oily things because I have an oily face and I hate it and I hate a lot of things. You can actually see more of the product on this one. So we're just gonna see how that works. Clean space and I feel like there's more on this one. If I could hold this I'm actually rather impressed with the way that it gets the product off. So, that's how it reacts with um, my two foundations that I use it with are the NYX HD Studio Photo Photogenic Foundation. And then also I have the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream that I use for also for my um, foundation because, like I said, I do have oily skin and I do get problematic acne and it's bad. Um, oh, and I also used it on um, ah! my Anastasia um, Beverly Hills brow brush. I used it on my little spoolie this morning and it was like, it was the auburn color because I had used it so much and I hadn't had a chance to wipe it off. And, oh my god, to see that my spoolie was black again was amazing. Oh, look, perfect. Alright, so my Naked 3 brush is incredibly pink. Because it's from the Naked 3 palette, which is incredibly pink. Um, 
So we're just gonna, we're just gonna tighten this up. So, I mean, it wasn't super dirty, and it smells lovely, but it's it's kind of like pine salt. It's got like a lemony kind of limey scent. It's nice. It's like fresh scent, like flowers and spring. It smells like a clean house. Oh my god, yes. Like if you have, if you've ever had cleaners come to your house and like spot, spot everything from like the corners in your shower to like the corners on the floor, and that's what it smells like—like like freshly mopped pine saw floors. Oh my god, it's so amazing. That is my opinion on the Japanese brush cleanser. I. Honestly, I tried to find, like, the Ulta brand, because I got this at Ulta, and it was... This is the 4.25 ounce bottle, and it was $12.50 at Ulta. Um, I did try to find the Ulta brand, but it was literally... It was this one bottle, or they had, like, two or three bottles of the giant Japanese cleanser. And, but I made do with what I had, which was this, which I am so proud I got, because this stuff is so amazing. Um, I'm so proud of it. So, if you haven't already, click down below, subscribe. I put out new vi videos every Wednesday, and uh, hopefully we will get through this whole editing nonsense. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!